Hello everybody! Football is a popular sport all over the world, which brings millions of people together. However, even if you're not a true fan, you probably know what a penalty kick is. It's a direct shot into the goal, defended only by the goalkeeper, and is considered by many to be the most intense moments of the match, while others, on the other hand, think it's boring. Neymar. But we're sure that the penalties we'll show you today will not leave you indifferent, because they are really incredible. Let's get it on. If you think a penalty isn't characterized by an excess of creativity, you just haven't seen what some players are capable of. For example, the player of the Swiss club Bar and the Finnish national team U16 Junas Jokinen. On April 7, 2011, in the match of the Swiss semi-amateur division, the Sempak and the Bar of Sug met. The latter received a penalty, and Junas Jokinen, who was 16 at the time, was chosen to take it. The young athlete justified the hopes of his comrades. Not only did he send the ball directly into the goal, but he also made a spectacular jump. Some penalties can be beautiful, some unexpected, but this one is simply humiliating. During the charity match between the Welsh football teams, the legend of the club Swansea City, Lee Trundle, scored an incredible goal in the opponent's goal. See for yourself. Brazilian footballer Hulk, also known as Givanildo Vieira de Souza, is also known for his dribbling, excellent long-range attacks, and precise passing. He's also good at shooting penalties, but without using too much force, like the character of Marvel, who's also his favorite comic book character. This is an excellent example in one of the training sessions at the Zenit Club in St. Petersburg. Yeah, it's just training, but if it happens during the game, don't be surprised. You infuriate Hulk. Hulk throw ball. This penalty is often considered one of the most cunning in the history of football. It took place in the AFC Challenge Cup in 2014. In the fight for bronze, the teams from the Maldives and Afghanistan met. The game went all the way to penalties, and Ashad Ali approached the ball. As expected, he took a couple of steps back, accelerated, and suddenly fell on the grass. A funny moment? No, not at all. Everyone present, including the coaching staff and the team of referees, didn't see any violation in this. In the end, the rules of football don't prohibit players from falling. Ashad later admitted that he did it on purpose to confuse the Afghan goalkeeper Mansur Fakiriya. In the end, the Maldives team won the post-match series with an 8-7 score and one bronze. The tricks during penalties are very individual, but many players like to learn from each other's experiences, and there's nothing wrong with that, especially when it's so impressive. For the first time in modern football, this combination was made by Messi and Suarez when they scored a magnificent goal against Celta. Well, it's impossible not to repeat it, isn't it? By the way, the creators of this trick are two Belgian players, Rick Coppens and Andre Peters, who invented it back in 1957. On July 17, 2011, a friendly game between Lebanon and the United Arab Emirates, the latter were awarded a penalty kick. The score was 5-2 in favor of the Emirates team, but the rules are the rules. Fayab Awana had to make the shot, and it seems that he didn't make any effort to put the ball in the goal. He simply turned his back to the ball, and the shot wasn't that strong, but it looks like he managed to confuse the goalkeeper. The attacker was immediately accused of offending his opponent, and after the goal, the coach rushed to replace the striker of the unusual 11-meter pitch. However, Awana received her minute of glory. On the internet, this video with his participation quickly went viral. 
Who said that dancing and football are incompatible? Anything can be useful when it comes to confrontations between a player and a goalkeeper. Yeah, and somersaults and falls and flying boots, and even these fancy turns. One more time. Oh, what a beauty. This guy definitely deserves a like. In Japan, they also know something about nice penalties. Don't believe this? Well, this is Tamoaki Makino, a Japanese footballer representing the Urawa Red Diamonds Club and the Japan national team. He seems to be getting ready in all seriousness, even warming up, and for some reason, even pushing an opponent. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Of course, you can think whatever you want about Neymar, but one of his best skills is to confuse his opponent. And he also does it during penalties. By the way, this method is used by many other players. Maybe we could call it the sudden lefty. Honestly, in this video, everything happened so fast that we didn't even have time to understand everything. One second and the ball's already in the goal. Let's go back and watch everything in slow motion. Ah, that's right, folks. This guy just scored a penalty kick from a completely amazing pose. Hey, is this football or ballet? The main task of a player who faces the goalkeeper on a penalty kick is to confuse the goalkeeper. Well, and score a goal, of course. In this case, Paul Pogba managed to do both. As you can see, it's almost impossible to take the player seriously. He walks slowly towards the ball like an old granddad. Looks like he's about to stop and rest for a bit, but no. Pogba took a penalty. Pogba strikes it into the bottom corner. In the end, the ball ended up in the bottom of the net. But there are a lot of great goals that don't happen during penalty kicks. Want to see some football stunts? A bicycle kick? A scissor kick? All of this in one game, folks. Just unbelievable. Everyone knows that in football, it's forbidden to touch the ball with your hands. But scoring goals with other parts of the body, alternative parts, is fine, right? What the f*** is this? Remember that penalty kick taken by Ashad Ali? Well, we found a similar goal, however, just at the height of the match, and scored by Philip Schobersberger, midfielder for the Rapid Football Club. And in this case, the sudden landing on the grass was certainly not planned. Ouch. Sometimes events in football take place with such incredible speed that there's simply no time to think. The famous Welsh footballer Dean Saunders really didn't know what to do, and simply threw the ball behind the goalkeeper, who was returning to the goal. A second later, Dean was scoring a beautiful goal, which no one expected, probably not even himself. When seeing this video for the first time, it looks like the ball literally teleports it into the goal. Seriously. The first goalkeeper tries to reject the ball, and a second later the ball ends up in the goal. But you have to look at the play from a different angle, and we understand that it was a goal against the head. What Chris Wood does here, just, just follows the ball, just takes a chance. But because Chris Wood takes a chance and just closes the keeper down... Not with the head, but against the head. That's what you get when you're in the right place at the right time. If you look at the best football goals in history, you'll see that football players are fond of jumping for some reason. It's any time, but in this case, the result is great. And finally, a magnificent penalty scored by Messiak Adamiak. You know, we don't even know how to comment on this. It's just wow. Psst. 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 